Yo. Yo. How did uh, apartment hunting go? Didn't. Did you get any writing done? Mm, not really. Watch anything good? Shadow of a doubt. Unreal. What's that? Earliest Hitchcock, so good. It'll have you cheering for the incest. It's a hell of a tagline. It's great. Honestly, you'd probably love it. You know me, man. Anything before Jurassic Park is a struggle. You liked Alien in high school. Yeah, because I was stoned. Yeah, and if you'd kept that up, you'd still like all these great movies. So, uh, what's the weekend look like? Weed, movies, sleeping late. Movies, weed, sleeping, movies. Celebrate when I'm back. Unless someone calls with a job. Could happen. That'd be something, eh? You get a fiance, you got a new barista job in the same weekend, both equally important. Are you jealous, bro? Yeah, but like the good jealousy. When do you leave for Niagara? About an hour. <clears throat> and what time are you back on Sunday? I'll be back by noon on Sunday. Which is weird because my cousin Fred is getting here tomorrow morning. What's your cousin coming for? To uh, crash in my room for the weekend. Oh. And maybe on the couch for a bit after. Okay. If it's all right. <sighs> well, what's my alternative? Your selection of Toronto's finest hotels. Cool alternative. I know I'm putting you in an awkward situation here. It's fine, man. It's your cousin, right? You aren't bringing someone in from the street. Oh, what's wrong with him? Her. And nothing. Really, she's just going through some stuff. She had a bit of a rough time getting in touch with her birth parents and dropped out of school. Doesn't know how to tell my aunt and uncle, so I just wanted to give her a place to decompress. Okay. Look, she sprung this on me, and I would take her with me, but it would kind of ruin the ambiance. So it'll be one night, just you guys, all right? No. You're not allowed to get engaged because I'll be uncomfortable for a night. Thanks, man. You owe me your firstborn son, though. Yeah, well, let me get this wedding nail down first, and then we'll talk. I think this weekend's gonna be good for both of us. You might even have a roommate lined up before Heather's moved in here. Fred's a writer, and she is as weird about movies as you are. Great. We'll be at each other's throats by sundown. Oh, the Jays are gonna suck this year. Hey. Sam. Yeah, I guess Justin mentioned me. Yep. It smells great. Mac and cheese for tonight, sauce for tomorrow. Nice. Well, if you need anything, just uh, let me know. Thanks. Mind if I watch a movie in the living room? Your living room? Yeah, I just, I don't know, don't wanna. Movie. Lifeboat. 
Not that great. Good to know. Don't like Hitchcock? Everyone likes Hitchcock, just not really Lifeboat. Well, I'm going through all this stuff in order right now because I've only seen the hits. Always been more of a De Palma guy. De Palma's probably the better technician. Hitchcock's got more heart. You like Shadow of a Doubt? Love Shadow of a Doubt. Hey, do you need any help? With what? The food, the uh, macaroni. Do you cook? I mean, my specialty is Popeye's takeout, but uh, I'm willing to learn. Start chopping that parsley. All right, just handle first going forward. Good, yeah, but it's super film school. It's all male gaze and cameras, the voyeur, and so on the nose. All I'm saying is, given enough time in an apartment, you'll be Jimmy Stewart in the cast, too. It's not even the best apartment movie. What is? Rosemary's Baby? Repulsion's better than Rosemary's Baby. And the apartment is better than either of those. It's a rich vein, though, right? An apartment in the city? Stranded, but claustrophobic. Surrounded by people while totally alone. Sounds like you're working on something. Justin told you I write? He mentioned it. I mean, yeah, I write. I don't have anything I'm ready to pitch you or anything. You should brainstorm this apartment idea. Yeah, for sure. I will. So? What, like now? Yeah, yeah, I just don't want it to be the type of thing where as soon as someone's out on the street, it's revealed the whole thing was in their head. It has to be concrete. Exactly. And it's not as simple as just leaving the house and feeling better. Loneliness follows you around. Even amongst people. Paranoia follows you around. Yeah, but loneliness and paranoia can't be characters. God, no. What is this, the seventh seal? Playing chess with death? I've never seen any Bergman. Yeah, me neither. I like poisoning, but does that even happen anymore? That's like Shakespeare shit. I guess it's mostly spycraft now, but if you want it to be about a murder, it fits in with your whole apartment thing. Close proximity. Private, even though it's surrounded by people, like you said. Munchausen by proxy type thing. Now we're turning it into whatever happened to baby Jane. You can fit in a writer too. Get all your neuroses out in one script. <laughs> Guilty. Wash up, start mixing the meat. All right, well, fine. We've got poisoning, we've got the apartment, we've got a, an everyday schmo type killer. What's the dramatic thrust of the story, though? It's the hardest part. Yeah. So we've put the cart before the horse here. Shouldn't the motivation be what we start with? I don't think we're as far off as you think. Throw in that cup of Parmesan, crush three cloves of garlic, and then you can start mixing it into meatballs. Okay. What if... Instead of a whodunit, it's a who done in. Like, we know someone's gonna die, but we're not sure who. It's a story about a guy at the peak of his career. He's got the job, the fiance, the promotions, but it doesn't sit well with him because he's got a jealous roommate and a deranged cousin. And they're seething. Why does he get this and they don't? He doesn't know how to make them happy for him. He can't. And everything he earns just hurts more because it's driving them away. Can't confide in anyone. It's 
two best friends hate him. His fiance depends on him, his cool, his charm. Everyone would hate him if he scared her off. So he keeps up appearances. Make sure that nobody knows he's actually alone. Eventually every interaction becomes a performance. And when the curtains drop, it falls back into his head. Long fall into nothingness. No one to talk to. No one would understand. So he stops putting on the performance. He writes a note, makes a meal, settles in. So... So he just kills himself? That's just a cover for the roommate and the cousin. Think anyone would believe that? Depends on how well the roommate sells it. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. supposed to see that. What the fuck is this? It's none of your business. Were they in the mac and cheese? No, of course not. You just told me exactly how you do it. Sam, that was just a story. Honestly, just get out. What? Explain what's going on or find a fucking hotel and get out of here, Fred. You think Justin would just let you throw me out? Who is he gonna side with? His cousin who's going through a crisis, or his friend who felt weird about her? He'll side with the one who isn't plotting his murder. I told you that's not what that's for! It's close enough! And the fact that you can't see it's creepy as fuck says a lot about oh, you. Oh, but what about you? You'd rather throw me out than listen to your own scary story! It's your story! I fleshed out your idea! You just chickened out of using your own resources. My resources? You said it yourself. Loneliness and paranoia following you around? Okay. Then why don't we write one from your resources, huh? It's about a psychopath little girl who creeps her parents out so much they put her up for adoption. Okay. Look, we both need to settle down now. I didn't... I just, I didn't, I didn't mean... I'm sorry, but you scared the fuck out of me, Fred. That's my fault. I'm really fucked up. I fucked up. I flushed my meds. Because I don't want them anymore. Because I want a clear head. And now I'm going to be alone. Finish the meatballs and put them in the fridge.
was like so surprised. Hey, there hey, he is. Hey, congrats, man. Uh, it's a real thing now. Uh, very real. Too real. Mm. How's it feel? Better than you must be feeling. How late did you guys stay up? Ah, oh, pretty late, I guess. See, I knew you guys would get along. Fred said you have cooked this up yourself? Oh, she's being modest. Uh, you are. She said you were her sous chef. Meatballs. Yeah, I guess I can take that much credit. Come on, I'm, I'm starving. Hey, you don't want to replay the night for us? Well, spoiler alert, she said yes. Oh, you fucked it up that bad, eh? Yeah, it went great. But there's plenty of time. He's hungry. I'll do a lecture series over dessert. What have we got for dessert, Fred? I didn't plan that far ahead. That's not like you. Well, she's got us this far. Why don't we go out for dessert? On me. Now, let's dig in. Uh, hold on. To, uh, let's cheers. Okay. To Justin. The best man I know. And to everything that comes to him from here on. Cheers. Cheers. Okay. Hmm. Good. Okay. <coughs> Went down the wrong hole. <coughs> oh shit. Fred? <coughs> Fuck. Where's your EpiPen? EpiPen? <coughs> Did you put any garlic in the food? No, 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 she told me to! Where's your EpiPen? Where's your EpiPen?